tutorial. I'm so excited to finally be done with my stocking. In this tutorial, we'll be finishing the name tag and I'll be showing you step by step how to do it. So keep watching. So this is what the name tag looks like when you cut it out. And we will be folding in half. It's a little hard to do it with one hand, but that's basically you uh, line up the points and fold it in half and we'll be applying it eventually. And I just happen to have a notebook to use as a template for the name. And I traced the size of the name tag onto the paper and we'll be eventually putting the letters on there and cutting it out and using that as a template. So there's that. And then in our, in our kit, there is an alphabet you can use as a guide to put your name on there. And that's what I'll be showing you next. So I went ahead and added Cameron's name onto the template and I'm gonna actually fix the A and the M to make them a little shorter so they kind of match the rest of the letters. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Already that looks so much better. Yay, <laughs> it looks so good. Okay, so we're actually gonna cut this out. Whoops, that messed with my camera lighting, sorry about that. Okay, so there's my scissors and I'm gonna cut this out and I'll show you how to put it on the name tag. So this is how I put it on the name tag. Take a couple of pins and put them in a spot that won't mess up your stitching. And make sure that when you do start embroidering it, that it's open and not closed. And I did notice that the instructions has it facing this way. But if you actually look on the front of the picture, it's, the name tag is the other way which I thought was rather interesting. So I decided to go with the picture. I think that works better in my opinion, but to each their own, if you feel like doing the other way around, that's fine. And then um, we're going to, when we're done embroidering, we're gonna just, it's just gonna hang like that. So let me show you how to start this embroidery. So I ended up starting it off camera because I don't have a tripod and so I had to use one hand for camera work and one hand for the stitching. But you basically use the outline stitch and make sure you go through the paper and the felt. And it's okay to do that because by the time you're done you're just going to applique both sides of the name tag together and it'll cover it up. So oh, make sure you go all the way through and then um, I'll show you where I stop next. So I ended up stomping in the bottom of the M, and I just want to show you what the back looks like. And there's my daughter. <laughs> she had to be in the shot. But yeah, that's what the back looks like, and it's not beautiful, but it'll be covered up, so that's fine. And we're going to start right there. And we'll most likely end at around the R somewhere, and I'll show you where I end next. All right, so the next part, I, I stopped on the R, and I actually had a little more um, string this time. So I stopped there, and I'm actually gonna jump to the top of the O, and I did that with the M too. I ended up jumping back up, which is fine, because guess what, it's gonna be covered, so no big deal. Plus I wanted to keep the aesthetic of the cursive. So I'm going to start at the very top of that O and go all the way around to finish. Here is the completed name. It looks so good. I love it when they come out so nice. And I ended up touching it up in the back to kind of secure some of the threads because some of them were a little bit loose when I jumped. So like on the O, I did a little knot right there so it doesn't move. Because that happens when you jump like that you end up getting thread that's a little loose. So I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm actually gonna pull the paper off. The big chunks of paper, I usually use my hands 
You don't really need to use the tweezers for all of the paper. But I do want to warn you to be careful when you're pulling the paper off close to the stitches because I have had the paper pull the stitching a little too hard. So be gentle when you're pulling off the paper. I'm so clumsy right now with one hand, <laughs> but you get the idea. So I'm going to take my scissors here and I'm going to gently remove the paper. And I usually use the tweezers in between the letters, like in between the E, the little, the little hole in the E, and, and the O as well, and the A. But yeah. So that's what it looks like with no paper, and it turned out really well. And you'd be surprised how easy it is to embroider something with just a piece of paper and some lettering. And there's the back of it, it looks so great. Now we're just going to fold it in half, and luckily the back half will cover little mistakes you make in the back. <laughs> so I went ahead and beaded and sequined the little areas that, that called for it. And make sure you do that before you close the name tag. And I just put a couple pins in and there you are. This is what the name tag looks like when it's completely closed and it looks so sharp. I love the way it looks. It turned out really nice. So now we're going to work on the leaves, the two leaves that go on there. And there's the back, beautiful. And I'll show you those leaves next. These are the two leaves that will be going on the name tag and they're fairly simple. You just take some black thread, two strands, and we're going to embroider the little leaf inside and attach them to the name tag. Here are all the leaves completely done and attached and I did use an outline stitch for the inner embroidery and two strands of black. And there's the back side of the leaves. I only attach it with a few stitches so it's not completely attached. It has a little bit of movement to it which is what I like. We are going to be making the cording and it gives you good instructions and visuals to do the cording. The first time I did it, it was a little confusing, but I will show you how to do it. So it says to take three strands of white thread that are about six inches long. So I have three right here and to knot them at the end. And I knotted it and I took a piece of tape and stuck it to my computer because that's where I am currently. <laughs> and I'm using both hands to twist the thread. How am I doing this, you ask, without a tripod? Actually, my daughter came over and she goes, Mom, can I help you? And I'm like, sure, why not? So she's actually doing the, the recording right now, which I'm actually, she's doing a pretty good job. So good job, Mimi. So you take both your hands. I tend to wet my fingertips a little bit to kind of keep a good grip and you twist it and you grab a pen and make sure it has a little bit of a, a hook on it because that's what you'll be using and you hook it onto the thread that's been twisted make it make sure that it doesn't come undone take one end grab the other end that's been taped and then hold it up and it should twirl there's my daughter being clumsy. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Let me take the pen off real quick. There we go. So that's the cord that we're going to put on the name tag. So it does say to grab a big eyed needle for this, but I found that the embroidery needle works just fine. So I just used that. And I'm actually going to put it kind of underneath the first bead. I'm trying to get a close up here. So I kind of put it right there. And it does take a little bit of force to push it through since it is a little bit thicker. But be gentle. <laughs> all right, there you have it. It's all the way through. Just take off the needle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually knot the end and attach it. So you should have two separate knots here, and 
and there's the name tag all finished and looking so cute. And we're going to actually attach it to the to the actual stocking. And I usually tuck it in between the, fr the front and the back of the stocking in the middle of the tag so it's hidden. And it's just going to sit right there. And we're going to attach it. Okay, so I actually went ahead and attached it off camera because it did take a little bit of maneuvering. And I did trim it afterwards. It doesn't show here, but I do trim it a little bit so that the knot doesn't just stick out. And I just attached it really well. And there it is. Alright, so here's my finished stocking! I'm so excited and the tag is being blown away by the wind. But there's the tag on it and there's the finished stocking. I'm so excited to finally be done. I know it's taken forever it seems like to finish the stocking. But uh, last month was a completely crazy month. I'm working part time at night so I've been having very little time to spend on my stockings. But I'm finally finished. I'm so excited for it. And I'm enjoying the beautiful weather today. That's why I'm outside. So that's it for this stocking and please look for my next tutorial. I will be doing the ornament that matches the stocking. So please look for that. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all my subscribers and my viewers. And please comment down below if you'd like to see more videos. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.